Has there been a lot of demand for this? There is. In fact, North Carolina was one of the only states to introduce a voucher program and actually have the number of applicants exceed the vouchers available. That's an extremely important point because a lot of states that introduce voucher programs find that they are under-enrolled in their first year. And of course, that gives opponents of the program a lot of uh, ammunition to say, look, there's very little interest in these voucher programs. Look at how few people applied for it in the first year. And, of course, there's an awareness issue in that first year. That didn't happen in North Carolina. In fact, there were thousands of applicants that exceeded the number of vouchers available, showing incredible demand for vouchers. Unfortunately, what happened was there was a legal challenge, and a lot of parents were scared by that legal challenge, so chose not to participate in that first year. So we actually under-enrolled in that first year, not because parents were not interested, but because they were scared that the voucher would be taken away from them. Terry, this is just one component of the overall school choice movement in our state, but where does it fit in the movement? Um, how important is it, and what do you see in the future? It's extremely important for the school choice movement because we've seen other components of the school choice movement increasing exponentially. We have over 100,000 homeschoolers in North Carolina. We're going to have over 80,000 charter school students next year. So we are now entering the next phase, the newest phase, of giving parents even more options for those students who don't have a charter school nearby or don't have the ability to homeschool. Now parents have another opportunity to find a school that better meets their child's needs.